Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a little guide on how I like to stay organized and motivated. So as most of you guys know already, I am self-employed and over the years I've had to really come up with and experiment different ways to stay organized, motivated, and self-disciplined. I had you guys over on my Instagram drop a few questions about this topic because I do tend to get a lot of DMs asking how I stay consistent with posting and motivated and organized and all that good stuff. So I figured why not make a little YouTube video about this. I decided to choose 10 questions total to go ahead and answer answer all about this subject. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You guys, I swear by the reminders app on the iPhone. I know most people really like to use Google Calendar or even Notion, but at this point I am so used to the layout and I love the features that come on the reminders app. Some of those features include being able to add little notes under each reminder, links, images. You can set when you want to repeat a reminder. I personally like to track my mileage while I'm working and driving around and I have a separate app that I like to use for that. But most of the time, whenever I get in the car, I completely forget to even click on the app to start tracking my mileage. But with the reminders app, you can set the reminder to when you get in the car or get out of the car to send you a notification on your phone. You just, of course, have to make sure that your phone's not on Do Not Disturb, which I have made that mistake plenty of times. So if you can remember to just keep your phone off of Do Not Disturb, then you should be good. So basically you can set a reminder to go off at any location, arriving or leaving. There's even a setting on reminders to send a notification to you when you go to text a specific person. Like let's say I wanna go and text my older sister. I'm starting to type her name out and I'm starting to send a text message and I will get a reminders app at the top of my screen to remind me to let her know anything I want to. You can flag any specific reminders. You can set a reminder as a priority from lowest to highest. And most importantly, you can check off each reminder as you finish a task or whatever, which is the most satisfying part every single day for me personally, because I just love seeing my like to-do list get smaller and smaller as the day goes on. I feel like that has a lot to do with like staying motivated. It just feels like, okay, I'm getting a lot done today. That feels good. So typically I like to sit down on Sunday evenings and just go over my upcoming week ahead. I like to confirm that all of my appointments and meetings and things like that are at the correct time and date. I also really like to make sure that my schedule isn't too jam packed every single day of the week because my job does have a lot of last minute things come up. Actually, majority of my job is just like doing things on a whim, which personally bothers me, but I've, I've learned different ways to kind of deal with that and not make it so stressful and overwhelming for me. And I think one of the things that I like to do is just making sure that I leave enough wiggle room in my schedule every single day of the week just in case something super last minute pops up, I have to go out of town you know, the next day or I need to get a sponsorship done, super last minute with a tight turnaround, anything could happen. I still do model occasionally. So you know, modeling jobs are like the most last minute. You don't find things like that out until the day before usually. So, and honestly, once around Tuesday afternoon hits, and I'm able to kind of get a flow of like what the week is sort of gonna look like. I feel like I just kind of go with the flow at that point because I'm either able to see, okay, it's gonna be a chill week. Nothing is gonna like, you know, pop up that's too last minute and crazy. Or some weeks I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a super chaotic week with a ton of last minute things to do. So let me try to keep everything as open as possible. For me personally, I really like to use digital planning. Years ago, I started off with pen and paper and it just didn't work for me. If you are new to this whole world of organization and stuff like that, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and experiment with both pen and paper and digital and 
anything else that you can think of. I'm not really sure if there's another option, but if you find another option, definitely try that out too. Just because something didn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So each day I try to aim for about five to 10 Instagram stories a day, one TikTok, which also gets reposted to Instagram Reels, and then one YouTube video every Friday on top of trying to answer emails, phone calls, attend meetings, any appointments, and then of course film and edit any last minute sponsorships, which they always are very last minute. With all of that being said, it does feel like a lot of work to have to keep up with every single day, including the weekends. My best piece of advice is act on your ideas whenever you come up with them. If you're a content creator, of course. I'm actually a little bit of a night owl and most of the ideas that I come up with for videos are actually thought of at around two or three o'clock in the morning, tragic. I know, but you know, since most of the time I can't film at two or three o'clock in the morning, I will go ahead and add all the details about my video, text overlay, the sound, the caption, everything like that into my reminders app so that I can go ahead and film, edit, and post as soon as possible, which is usually the following day. So for my content, I usually end up finding the perfect audio to use first, and then I start building a concept around that specific sound. I know that's not the case for a lot of people. Usually they think of a concept and then they throw in a sound, you know, as the last step. But for me, it always usually starts off with a sound. Once my concept is complete in my head, I will go and copy and paste the link to that specific TikTok sound onto my reminders app. You know, there's a URL option, so I'll add that link there. And once that's done, I'll go ahead and add any text overlay that I wanna add to the video on screen before it slips my mind, because that's usually like the best part of the video is whatever I'm gonna say on screen. I've actually had this happen a few times where I will spend too much time or I'll get distracted doing something else and I'll completely forget what that text overlay was gonna be and then I usually just have to like scrap the video or just put it off until a later date and then, you know, someone usually ends up doing that exact idea and I'm like, ah, oh, I should have done it. I should have acted on it sooner. So once I get that text overlay added in the notes, I'll go ahead and title the reminder or the video as film blank TikTok slash IG reels. And I will set a date and a time to film it. And I usually end up editing and posting the video shortly after filming that day. So I typically don't make a separate reminder to edit or post that video because I do it so soon after. The answer is absolutely yes. If I am ever feeling super overwhelmed or stressed out with work, I will actually pick a day during that week to do absolutely nothing. And what I'll actually do on my reminders app is clear out anything that I already have, move it up, move it down by a day, do whatever I need to do in order to make sure that I have nothing to do that day. And I will actually add a reminder. Let's say I wanna do nothing on Wednesday, I'll clear the whole day out for Wednesday and add do nothing day for Wednesday. Because if I don't do that, I will be way too tempted to want to throw things in on that day to do, to fill up my schedule or to, you know, make certain things work. But yes, I definitely have days where I just don't want to do anything. I want to like be able to reset with my mental health and my space and everything like that. I think that that's really important, especially if you're self-employed, even if you're not self-employed, it's super important to just prioritize and make sure to purposely block off days in your week, your month, whatever, to do absolutely nothing. Alarms, hear me out on this one, okay? Please trust me and try this out if you struggle just like me with procrastinating. Recently, I've started setting different alarms for things that I tend to put off until the last minute, such as any sponsorships that I need to do, any ideas that I've come up with that I'm you know, afraid that someone else is gonna do before me and it's not gonna be my original thought anymore, or even really simple things such as taking a shower early enough in the evening. So like I said earlier, I have recently become a bit of a night owl and I will stay up really late thinking of ideas and stuff like that. 
Therefore, I won't get started on my nighttime routine until pretty late in the evening, probably around 11, even midnight. I don't end up getting up off the couch or in bed or wh whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm at, to get up, go take a shower, start doing my nighttime skincare and get ready for bed and go to sleep. So I recently have started setting alarms. I will set an alarm for Sometimes it's 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, around that time of the evening. I will set an alarm and in my head, I have to almost like coach myself to say, the second this alarm goes off, whatever I'm doing, I need to stop doing that thing, get up and go take a shower because I will feel so much better. I won't regret it later on. I'll be able to you know, be ready for bed earlier and I'll be able to get enough sleep tonight and be able to conquer the next day and all that good stuff. So the key is alarms and sticking to the alarm. Don't snooze, don't you know, turn the alarm off and not do anything and take action. My favorite way to practice self-discipline is starting out small rather than trying to become a whole new person overnight. Doing it that way and trying to completely, you know, do a 180 and transform your life overnight will probably last you about a week. You're going to experience burnout over and over and over again. Trust me, I've done it before. So I like to think long term and taking smaller bites will definitely help get you those long-term results and keep you self-disciplined for a much longer time. And doing those little things every day, such as making your bed every morning, picking out your clothes for the next day, the night before, and waking up at that alarm, even going to sleep at the same time every night. I could keep going on and on, but I think you get my point. Doing little things every day to improve your life or to improve your self-discipline will really, really help you in the long run. If it's a lazy type of day, I just accept the fact that it's a lazy type of day. Of course, you don't want to get in the habit of just, you know, the second you wake up, you're like, I don't feel like doing anything. And then you just choose not to do anything. You really have to listen to your body though. If your body and your mind is telling you, I don't want to do anything today. I feel so exhausted. I need rest. I need to, you know, go outside and like focus on something else other than work or whatever you're trying to push yourself harder on. Listen to your body. And this goes back to my last question. If you try to, you know, completely make a 180 transformation in your life and become a whole new person overnight, you're going to experience burnout. And that's gonna be really discouraging when you're on this like motivation kind of journey. So personally, I think if you're just not feeling it for one day, it's totally fine to take the day off and just relax and rest and reset to keep going the next day. The best way for me to get out of a slump when I'm working from home is simply going outside and getting that good old vitamin D. I really like to go for walks, take my dog out to the park, or even just run any sort of errands that require me to get up and get out of the house for once because it just really helps whenever you kind of, I don't know, when you see that sunshine and feel it on your skin and everything like that, it just puts you in a different headspace. And when I'm in a creative slump, I really like to go on Pinterest and just scroll, refresh, scroll, refresh, scroll, make different mood boards, anything like that. I also really like to go on TikTok and Instagram and Instagram reels, I guess, too, and just scroll on there as well. Now, I actually don't like scrolling on TikTok and Instagram for too long because I start playing the comparison game that we all know and love so much. So I try to, you know, stay off of those platforms as much as possible, but I find that scrolling on Pinterest can really help me find really good aesthetics and just amazing ideas, especially because my content has a lot to do with aesthetics and just like coming up with good quality videos. Yeah, that is my best piece of advice for whenever you're in a slump specifically working from home. Okay, so that is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found that it was somewhat helpful. I know a lot of y'all were asking me 
questions on staying motivated, consistent, having self-discipline, and just being organized as a whole. So I hope that this really, really helped you guys. And let me know down in the comments if you have any more questions or anything to add on to the tips and advice that I gave you guys today. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications. You guys already know what to do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.